Hi guys and uh, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first video in a leak code series I'm planning on doing. Um, I'm a junior in computer science right now and I thought you know it would help me prepare for interviews as well as I'd maybe be able to help other people if I went through and recorded um, leak code videos and uploaded them to YouTube. So we're gonna start today with um, this challenge which is to create the target array in the given order. And the challenge says um, given two arrays of integers, nums, and index, your test is created a target array under the following rules. First, the initial target array is empty. And then from left to right, you're going to read in nums i and index i, insert the index at the value in target array, and then you're going to um, repeat the previous step until there are no elements to read it in nums and index. And finally, you're going to return the target. So you can see in this example here, they give you the nums array with the values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then they're going to give you an index array with 0, 1, 2, 2, and 1. So going through here and looking at step by step how they did it. So they start with um, the 0th index of nums. That's going to be 0. And then at index 0 of target, insert that zero. See, they do that. Then they went here, and they gave you a one. At index one, insert the one. Went ahead and did that. Then they repeated that for two, again. And then here is where um, this might trip up some people. At index uh, two, again, they're gonna insert a three. You see here, they took the three is now at index two, but the old original two is now shifted to index three. And here again, they inserted a four at index one. You can see that they insert the four at index one, but then shift the rest of them over. So here you can see two was at index four, now it's at index five. Three was at, um, I'm sorry, did I say index four? I'm sorry, index, <laughs> index three, now it's at index four. Um, three is at index two and that's at index three. Okay, so looking at the constraints here, see if there's anything to take note of. Um, okay, so the easiest way to do this would be to declare a list of integers. The reason you want to do a list instead of an array to begin with is because um, lists are resizable in Java and arrays are not. You have to manually resize them because you give them a fixed size. This makes it a lot easier for you because then you can just insert um, the values from the list into the array. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go through go through the nums and index, and it doesn't really matter um, whether you set this to nums.length or index.length, because you can see here, they said in the constraints that they are equal. So you're gonna go through, and then to the list, you're gonna say list.add index of i and the nums of i. Okay, so this will give you your array list, and then what you're gonna wanna do is create your target array to return. Again, this would not matter if you did nums.length or index.length. Now you're gonna wanna iterate again for i equals zero as less than target.length plus plus. So you're gonna do is say, the, oops, the target of i, so the index you are currently at in the uh, for loop is going to be list.get of i. So this should give you um, in the list um, at whatever index you are in the for loop, it'll add that to the target array. And that should produce the result that we want. 
All right, and then you're going to return the target. See what we get here. What did I just do? Oh, didn't say new. Um, bit of a rookie mistake there, but that's okay. And there we go. So yeah, hopefully um, you enjoyed this video and um, like, comment, and subscribe for more. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.